your way, baby. Just live with your way. When y'all finna start? About to now. Just growing up in Memphis, bro, like, you know, you had your boots at G 
hype me up sometimes. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we feed off each other, bro. Like, yeah. it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling, bro. For real. Yeah. yeah. And, and how do you get on that level? I like, like, with I, him. Like, how do you match the energy? Um, I don't know, bro. I just say really the energy and just kind of be sick, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, he'll come to me with an idea, like, tell me where he want to go with it. Yeah. And we just go from there, bro. Like, just a quick cook up. Like, we, we cook up. Like, we can, we can come up with a song, like, 15, 20 minutes. Like, beat done, song, wrote, two verses, intro, outro, all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's he, Yeah, like, he done, he done got to that point. So, like, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we got the chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Tell the people how you came up with the name, Just the Beast. Man, it's, it's, it's actually crazy, bro, because, like, I've been making beats for a while, and, like, I was, like, hit on the internet with it. And, like, I was on, uh, I was on MySpace. I was on MySpace, and, uh, like, the producers, uh, named the runners from Florida, you know, the, uh, the runners, they did, like, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, you know, like, I had hit them up, like I was, I had wanted them to check my beat side, like them being in my space and them being as popular as they were, you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't think they hit me back, like they hit me back, like, you, know, you got some, you got some fire, you know what I'm saying? You jit, you got some fire, like I didn't know, um, jit was a Florida slang, you know, like, like for a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a young person, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and like, then I ain't kind of stuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, jit, jit, it just kind of stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just earned the beach part from, you know, just, just constantly just cooking up. You know what I'm saying? It's constantly coming up with crazy shit. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Over the years, you know what I'm saying? Like, I. But you had the name for a minute. Yeah. So, I said, since I was like 16. Mm. Man, you been cooking up since 16? No, nah, I've been. <clears throat> probably since I was like 14, 13, 14. Damn, what gave you that? What gave you that? At 13, 14, what gave you that? Um, you know, that extra hour, bro, because the, I'm going in, yeah, I need it. Like, really, bro, I say, like, one of the first beats I made, bro, I sold for $25, bro. Mm. <laughs> I sold a beat for $25, and oh, me being 13, 14, you know what I'm saying, like, $25, you know, I was like, I can make beats and sell them, you know what I'm saying, so I just, Kept doing it, but you know, I always had a love for music anyway. But just knowing that I could make money off of it, I didn't let that stop, you know what I'm saying? The fun part of it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that was always in the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah. That's alright. That's alright. <clears throat> so, um, like, how you get your equipment and stuff, you know? How you, what, what made you know, okay, just for real, I'm about to be for real. Like, um, really, I say that that situation with the runners <clears throat> made me serious. And then, like, I ain't got with this studio in, uh, back in Memphis, like, it was called Trap House, Trap House Studios. Yeah. Shout out to Trap House, man. Shout out to Trap House. Uh, it was called Trap House Studio. And, like, I, like, I was the youngest person in there. Like, everybody in there was, like, up, up in 20s, 30s, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was the youngest person in there. Like, yeah. just, just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the producers who was there, like, sort the track, the machine, like, just different little, different, not even little, just different Memphis producers, you know, that inspired me, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, that was there, like, I always heard that music. And, like, I'm thinking in my head, like, I got way up against these niggas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. like, we always had respect for each other, just, just sonically and musically, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I grew with them. What kind of style, like, like, what molded your style? Like, what kind of music did you listen to to kind of just you know, um, take you to, to that place? Well, man, you know, being from Memphis, you know, I hear like a lot of blues, like old music, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you caught the pimp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like a lot of that, like, David Ruff, you know, OJ, Bobby Womack, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Yeah. And, like, me, like, I get inspiration from, like, different places. Like, I, like, I'm a gamer, too, you know what I'm 
what I'm saying? So like the like like the enlightenment in between time, like I might play a game and like just get inspired, you know what I'm saying? Like even just from the music on the game or you know what I'm saying, just playing a game, I might just get inspired. Yeah. Right. That's all right, man. That's all right. It, it's crazy how different stuff will take us to that place to where our artwork can, you know what I mean? Really like artwork, like, visuals, colors, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All, all of this shit can inspire. What you have to do to be a good producer? Man, just stay, just stay in it, bro. Like, it's cliche. It's cliche, like, when a nigga tell you keep working, just, like, don't give up, just keep working, just stay prayed up about the situation, bro. Like, this shit work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what somebody else might tell you in your personal life, just don't stop. Just, just don't stop. That's the secret. Because you me out of shit, the day you stop, shit, something could come through for you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you just can't stop, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep You know what I'm saying? Like that's how, that's how you know what I'm saying. That's how Steph Curry got as good as he was. Right. Just comes with practice in the three. You know what I'm saying? You don't just get good like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just born good like that. You got to get good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's constantly. Like you can, like you can have it in you, but you know what I'm saying? It's constantly, the act of repetition, you'll perfect. You'll be perfect. How did you get started, Jeff? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I say like, I say like, when I was about 11 or 12, bro, like, my mom, my mom had got me a, like a little Casio keyboard for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had never fuck with it, bro. I did never fuck with it, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit, I did never fuck with it. I didn't, I didn't fuck with it until I was 13, like, like late 12, 13, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like my partner, like me and my partner, like he had this radio where like you could record into the radio like without no mic, like it had like a little mic into it. Like, yeah. yeah. Like we'd be fucking around on like I'd just be like playing little beats that was yeah. on the keyboard and shit, yeah. rapping and shit, I'd be like playing and shit on top of it and shit. I was like, man. You know what I'm saying? Like so I always kind of knew what sounded good, you know what I'm saying, from doing it dead early, but I didn't really Make my first beast house like 13. Right, right, right. Man. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's crazy right there. Yeah, it is. She did crazy. Nigga <laughs> wasn't even picked it up. Like, like for real, bro. Up. Like, I wasn't even, like, even think about it, bro. Like, so, is that your favorite instrument? What, like a piano? Yeah, yeah like, like a keyboard, a piano. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't really have no experience with like playing drums or like guitar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think I 
this is the struggle. You know Real, I mean? like being a producer, bro, like, right. you need a hard drive, bro. Back your shit up. I learned that the hard way. Man. I learned that the hard way.
just seeing like, you know what I'm saying? Like just seeing how the video side of this shit really worked. You know what I'm saying? Like the camera crew, like the food, like all, all this yeah. shit just to shoot. Yeah. Like episode of, you know what I'm saying, TV, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit was, yeah, this, I'm gonna always remember that. Like it was some dope shit. Yeah. yeah. I met all T.I. kids. Well, I, I met most of T.I. kids. Met T.I. Yeah. Dope shit. Oh.
making sounds out of, but you know, I'm just using it as a MIDI controller right now. So I got that keyboard, I got the, the, the MPC. Really, that's all I need, bro. Like, my damn MPC is a, is a fool, bro. And that guy MPC is a fool, bro. Shout out to that guy. For real, like, they, shout out. I had, I remember I had been making beats. Um, I had been making beats like 11, 12 years before I actually touched the hardware and like the, um, the MPC 4000 was the first one I, uh, I touched like my homeboy, like back in the studio I was telling you about, like they taught me how to use it, they taught me how to use that uh, MPC 4000, I learned that bitch fast, like, I learned that bitch, like four days type shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I was making beats in that bitch like four days. Like whenever I wasn't using it, whenever I went back to the software side, like I kind of knew the sound that I had on the hardware side. I kind of would kind of mimic that on the software, but you know it's different. It's kind of different because you using your hands on the on the hardware with the pads, and on the software you might be clicking the notes in, or you might be playing it on the on the on the piano. You know what I'm saying? But you know that that hardware. Sound like the right cookup, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know your PC is software and hardware, so, you know. Yeah. Um, how do you sell um, or get features on beats? Yeah, like to your art, to art. Um, just like the original way, just, you know, sending them out. Well, I do, I, I, I do that sometimes, I do that sometimes, like, in, like, in, in, in some cases, like if some artists come, like they might get a feature from who, from Boosted or whatever, and like they might hear a beat that I was making. I'm like, who might send them a beat that I made? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, or like they might actually hear something and they might they might pick something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's either either, either in the studio or or through the email. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. Uh, I don't really have no be so like online to buy like that. So if you're in the studio, y'all really in the studio. Yeah, online like on, on or on Instagram, like you know, it's like social media helps too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's a whole definitely, um definitely that's a whole market right, right there. Yeah. 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 Dropping some gems for y'all, man. Um, what you like and what you don't like. Uh, what you need, what you need, and then what you, what you, what I mean, you just, don't need. I mean, just personally, bro, like, I, I might be, I know I, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I might need some smoke. I'm going to need some weed. <laughs> I, some weed. Oh, I might yeah. need, I might need, like, a little six-pack, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I ain't even gonna lie, bro, like, candles help, dog. Yeah. <laughs> candles. <laughs> Candles, it gotta smell good in that bitch, dog. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't like when it be, I don't, I don't like when it be like. Uh, I noticed like, that too. I, I definitely did. Like candles, like the smell, shit kind of help too. Yeah. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? Kind of help different moves and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really be banging to a beat then. I, I don't know what it is, but I noticed that. Um, you know, a lot of producers have yeah, candles in their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's that aura, something in that in that air, you know, yeah. especially with the smoke too. For real, bro. So, and I say what I what I don't like, like it's like if it might be a random person in the studio or something. Yeah. Like I've been making a beat, bro. And they'll just end up like having a whole verse to my shit. Yeah, bro, like check this shit out, bro. Like I wrote this shit, bro. Check this out. Kill this beat, bro. Like, bro, like. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't talk, bro. You ain't ask me or nothing, bro. Like, yeah. come on, bro. for real, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I, I kind of like a quiet <laughs> studio you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's like, just like, me, bro. Up, like, I kind of like it just. Yeah, right. Like, me, like, maybe a couple other people, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah. Just, just folks who kind of understand the vibe, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know so it don't really be no problem. Right, right. But, like, I don't like random people t- coming up to me with their verses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay.
kind of study from different producers? Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fundamental, bro, because, like, you always got to be a student. You know what I'm saying? You always got to be a student to the game, bro. Like, it's always, like, you got you got to study what came before you, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you if you want to be great, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always, it's, it's always, it's always good, bro. To, it's always good to study other producers because, like, you might get inspired, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might not so much as use their old style. You might hear something that they do in their beats or something like or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can put your own spin on it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to study, bro, because, like, can, like, you, you, you can't reinvent the wheel in that sense. Yeah. Like, if you studying music, so do you know when you really start making bangers, or do you really know when you start making bangers? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> like I like to start with my sounds first. I don't like uh, I don't really start with my drum first. Yeah. Like by the second sound, yeah. if I ain't if, if 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 I ain't been added the drums in by the second sound, and like I ain't got like no vibe going, like I just I might just scrap the whole beat. You know, like, but like I know when I I, I know when I. Uh, Another way I know that I made a bang like when one of my partners come in, I might come in the studio, I, I play the beat, I, I look at them and they, they make And they go, stupid! Yeah, they, 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 they fart face. Yeah! They make shit face. Yeah! Like, like, you fuck with it. Yeah. yeah they That's make, like you already know smoking agreement. Yeah, I'm like, like, looking for that shit face, man. Yeah. <laughs>
saying? Like he, you know what I'm saying? Like he don't like Boosie is like a real workaholic in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't. He don't really stop, you know what I'm saying? He work fast, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we in here cooking up. You might be like, man, bro, take me to Cali, bro. We'll work on that. And then, like, we'll kind of, I feel like he'll kind of put, like, a time limit on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll come up with at least a hook and some, some of the verse, you know what I'm saying? He'll, all right, go to the next one. All right, man, take me to a funeral home, man. Make me sad, bro. Yeah. All right, play something, make that. Yeah. Bam, he'll write something. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's go go. You know what I'm saying? Like just, you know what I'm saying? It's just different shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the islands or something. You know what I'm saying? Like just different shit. Take me to Memphis. What's some ball and G shit? At? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like some different shit. Just every, you know what I'm saying? He, he works. You know what I'm saying? He and like this is exercise, bro. Like they just come with. You know what I'm saying? They don't do nothing to make you better. Right. Right. So like that's 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 always good, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh. Organic energy, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit be good, bro. Like, yeah. love this shit. Yeah. yeah. Like even if it ain't boosted, bro. Like if you work with an artist, like y'all got a good chemistry, bro. Like y'all can cook up like that too, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just gotta be an artist who in the game. You can be an artist coming up. You can be an artist that nobody ever heard of. Like as long as you as a producer got the chemistry with whoever you're working with, like you can make five songs in like in in, in, in a studio session. You know what I'm saying? Five, six songs a night or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta have that energy, that, that chemistry. That's how I cry. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's exactly what it's about, man. Yeah, man. Who you got in this football? Man, bro. I don't, hey, honestly, bro, like I sound crazy as fuck saying this, bro. Like I don't even really be fucking with sports like that, bro. Like, I, I just stay, I just stay. Studio. Like, a, like if we be some sports shit going yeah. on, like I hear it from, yeah. like everybody else, like, yeah. like last night, like, they, like they was going crazy in here about, yeah. like how the same one in the last couple yeah. seconds, they like, bro, like how the yeah. fuck did they do that? Yeah. So I'm like, oh man. Yeah. I used to um, really be in the sports, but um, you know, I, I don't too much mess with it no more either. Yeah, like even when I was, like even when I was young, bro, like I tried to get into it, like it just never. It just never like into like it just never like caught my interest, you know. I'm in, I'm into it because of um, you know the folks I be working with, you know, they into it. So yeah, I play a sports game though, you know what I'm saying? Like I I fuck with that all day, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like as far as like watching, like just being into it, like just being a fan, fan, like I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really mess with it like that. Yeah, I used to be like that. I used to be like that. Yeah. But, um, man, you know, it's September, it's our birthday, you got to make a birthday banger for us, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, shit, I fuck, I, I sent it to you, bro, for real, I, I sent it to you, bro, I, I sent it, I make it on my birthday and send it to you. Man, that'd for be real. dope, that'd be dope, that'd be dope. I'll do that. That'd be dope, you know, that'd definitely be dope. Well, that's it, I ain't gonna hold you out no longer, bro, oh, Jit the Beats.
they brought him out, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 like the minute you stop, shit, the next minute something come through. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, just yeah. keep working. That's regardless of whatever you going through. Like just try to find a way to work. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit, hard times. Shit, you can make your best music on hard times too. You know what I'm saying? You know how to, you know, vent your feelings the right way. You know, yeah. you make your best music in the hardest time, man. So just, just always keep working. Just keep it going. Uh, keep praying. Keep God first, you know what I'm saying? You just keep going, bro. You just gotta keep going every day. You gotta make this shit a routine. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. It's the cook up. Time for the cook up. Yes, sir. My special aid.
Maybe it's just it too, man. Um, I don't know if I can just get my dude out there and tell him down in the podcast. Um, podcast with a uh, executive vice president of podcastmusic.com. And they, they like you. But um, yeah. he ain't the right contact with the right distributor for music and you know, movies and shit like that. So, yeah. you know what I mean? If you down, you know what I mean? Shoot me the beat. You know what I mean?
And it's an old shit. I think I did this thing in like, my has been so old, like 13, like, like, like 2014, some type shit. 11, 12, 13, 14, like right around that area. Watch Home Alone or some shit. <laughs> 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 Real 
shit in there. Just watch them alone and some shit, dog. Man. Uh, just watch them alone, man. We got full of them runs. Got full of them runs. That's the rawest. Bro, Home Alone 2 was raw yeah. in the first yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Third, the third one was some shit. That shit even made it. No, no, bro. No, but that second one, they really gonna, yeah, really gonna handle it. The same shit they did,